Are you looking for ways to decorate with taper candles? To start this DIY, separate the layers of a patterned paper napkin. Once separated, cut the paper napkin as needed to fit the length of your taper candle. Mine just needed a little trimming for this particular taper. Then cut the napkin to fit the diameter of your candle. Now we are going to actually iron the paper napkin onto the taper. Heat an iron to medium low heat, not too hot. Wrap the napkin around the candle and gently press against the iron plate. Emphasis on gently. Don't press too hard or you might have a waxy mess on your hands. Keep rolling until the candle is completely wrapped in the napkin. Let the candle cool, it doesn't take very long, and start to use in your own home decor. Remember, have fun choosing your favorite colors and patterns in the paper napkins that you use. Another way to spruce up a taper candle is to give it a little twist. Fill a heat safe container with hot water at a temperature between 100 and 110 degrees. Place a taper candle, and I will tell you a paraffin candle works best for this, in the hot water and let sit for 10 minutes. Periodically roll the candle in the water so that the heat is evenly distributed. After 10 minutes, pull the candle from the water and dry off excess water with a towel, and then wrap the candle in some wax paper. Take a rolling pin and press down on the middle of the candle. Using some strong and consistent pressure, flatten the middle part of the candle. Once the middle section is flattened, take the candle and gently twist it into the shape that you want. With a larger candle, I like to get two or three twists in the center, but have fun and create your own twisted pattern. When you get the twist that you want, place the candle in cold water and this will set the candle in its new shape. Then, have fun displaying your new twisted taper candle. For the last project, take painter's tape and tape off sections or stripes on a taper candle. Make sure that the edges are pressed down securely on the edges of the tape. Go with skinny stripes or wide stripes, evenly measured stripes, or go crazy with different widths in your stripes. Once taped off, Paint light coats of acrylic paint in the open sections of the candle in the color or colors of your choice. Continue to paint light layers until you get the color that you want. The key is in going with light layers instead of trying to paint heavily the first time. Let dry completely. A taper candle is beautiful by itself, but can have a great impact when combined with other tapers. Try displaying them in odd numbered groupings and vary the height of your candlesticks. A variety of colors, textures, and patterns make the display even more interesting and unique. I hope this inspired you to have some fun sprucing up ordinary taper candles. Thanks for watching Home Talk and see you next time. Get started. First, you're going to need a saucepan and you're going to put two or three inches of water in it and turn it on to like a medium low. Um, I have it on four on my stove. Then you're going to need a can. Here's <laughs> number one trick from lessons learned. Pick out your candles before you pick out your can. So I want to make candles, um, dye candles that have this diameter. I thought this soup can was going to be big enough, but it barely fits in there. And that's not going to work when I start doing the dip dyeing. So you need a can that's a little bit bigger. So I ended up getting this coffee can because that gives me plenty of room. Then you're going to put the can inside the pot and it's not going to lay flat until the wax gets close to being melted. So don't worry that you're doing it wrong. You are doing it 100% right. Going to go ahead and put the can in. Then you're just going to take either a couple votive candles or just a small pillar candle. I've linked to some in the materials section and you're going to put it in the can inside the pot that has the water in it and you're going to let this sit. It's going to take a little bit longer than you think it is. Um, 15 to 20 minutes, it's gonna seem like nothing's happening and then all of a sudden it's gonna start happening. So we're gonna let this sit for a bit and we'll show you some tips and tricks while we let it melt. Okay, so just to show you guys what I mean, that's been on the stove probably seven or eight minutes 
and it's just starting to melt. You can see at the bottom, but now in a couple minutes, this thing will be almost melted down. So it takes a little bit for it to get started, but once it does start, it happens pretty quickly. Okay, so we're about 90 seconds later. Um, it melted just enough that I could actually lay the candle down on its side, but now you can see it's really starting to melt pretty quickly. So it should just be another few minutes and this will be completely melted. Okay, so all the wax is melted. We're getting ready to add the crayons for color, but here's my tip. Before you do that, I'm just gonna take like a little pot holder. You need to fish out the wick. There it is. Um, don't be like me and put the color in first and then not be able to find the wick. So you wanna take the wick out. I'm just gonna put it over here in my other can. Then you're ready for the good stuff. So I've got a couple of, uh, these are half used, partially used crayons um, from our kids box. So I'm just going to start dropping the crayons in. I'm gonna finish peeling this one off, maybe break it up. And that's the really cool thing about this is it's, you just never know what you're gonna get. So see, you can already see that these are starting to melt. Oh, I love this color already. So we're gonna stir this for probably 10 to 15 seconds until everything's melted down. So you can see they're already melting quite a bit. And then I'm gonna move out of this little tiny corner and we're gonna go over to our dining room table and we're gonna start dip dyeing some candles. Okay, so I moved from my kitchen to my dining room just because that was a tight space and I wanted you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. If you've got room in your kitchen and wanna stay near your stove, that's fine too. I just wanted to show you in a more well-lit area. So I've got a couple of my pillar candles that I'm ready to dip. I've still got the can inside the pot and you can see it's nice and hot. What you're gonna need now, this is very technical, a paper plate and some bamboo, bamboo skewers because that's what we're going to rest the candles on so that they can, um, the excess wax can dip off. This is super easy. You're also gonna just need a pair of pliers. These aren't absolutely mandatory, but I find it easier to um, grab the candles that way. I'm gonna go ahead, grab the candle by the plier, the candle wick by the pliers. I'm gonna dip it in and you wanna to count to five, pull it out, let it cool for a second, dip it back down in, count to five again. So one, two, three, four, five, pull it out. Ah, I love that color so much. Okay, one adjustment I wanna make, and I see I forgot this. That's the beauty of doing these things. When you're using a bigger candle, actually you wanna hold it this way, because then you're gonna get a little bit, I have a little bit of an uneven coating on this side because I was holding the candle at an angle. So we're gonna do it one more time. One, two, three, four, five, pull it out. Yeah, I love this, okay. And if you wanna do it, um, if you want the bottom to be thicker, you can do a couple extra, I'll do one more. One, two, three, four, five. And it's not so hot that you can't lay it flat on the bottom. You want to make sure the candle is sort of flat to the bottom of the um, can so that you do get an even. I love how this color is turning out. So I'm just going to set this right there. Oh, oh Lord. There we go. So what I also think is really cool, and this should still be hot enough, if you want to change and do um, sort of an ombre effect or a range of shades of the same color, I've got some darker green crayons. I'm going to drop those in here and start stirring them around. It should be dark enough, or sorry, it should be hot enough for these to melt. But if it doesn't, like I said, if I was back near my stove, I can just go ahead and stick these back on the stove just for maybe 10 seconds um, so that the candles melt. I think we're doing pretty good. We'll give it another couple seconds and then we'll come right back. Okay, so we popped this back on the stove just for a few minutes just so you guys didn't have to sit here and watch me stir crayons. Um, so now I'm gonna take this. What I think is so cool about this is it's sort of a guess, like you're not totally sure what color you're gonna get, um, but I love to see the result and I just know it's gonna be a deeper shade of the screen. Okay, so we're gonna try it one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my God, oh, I love that. Okay, I'll do one more. Like this is, I just think this is the most fun. One, two, three, four, five, pull it up. Oh, that is beautiful. So I'm gonna set this one down to dry. I'm gonna show you a few other examples. I'm gonna turn this plate a little bit so you guys can see. So you can see it's 
the same, it's green, but this one is a little deeper than this color. It'd be beautiful. This would be a great project if you have a wedding and you need to set a lot of um, tables and then people could take these home as party favors. Or if you're having a dinner party and you wanna set up a beautiful table. Here are a couple other really cool, we actually did a, a double dipping. So I don't know how well you can see this. We did the lighter layer first, and then I went back in and did uh, added more crayons, did a darker layer, and didn't dip it down quite as far in. So I thought that turned out really beautifully. Here it is. You can really see the difference. This was like a pinky peach color, um, how it started out lighter and then got a lot darker. And I love how opaque that is. And I don't want you to think that, you know, you can only do this big size. You can also do votive size candles. So this would be again, really great for um, wedding parties, bridal showers. You can do, I could probably do a dozen or more candles just with what I did in here. 